Wolverine versus American Badger. Who would win a fight between these two tough mustelids? Badgers and Wolverines are two of the most iconic animals in North America. Both belong to the Mustelidae family. They are furry, stocky, and nocturnal mammals mostly found in cold, snowy regions of the world. But who would emerge victorious in a battle between these two extraordinary beings? To answer this question, we must explore their characteristics, habitats, and adaptability, all of which will play crucial roles in determining the outcome of this clash. The wolverine is the largest land-dwelling member of the Mustelidae family. It is a solitary and muscular carnivore. The wolverine has a reputation for ferocity and strength that is out of proportion to its size, with the ability to kill prey several times its own size. No one messes with the American badger, which has enormous foreclaws and an aggressive attitude. This little tenacious mammal can be found in grasslands all over North America. Although not closely related, the American badger resembles the European badger in appearance. What do they look like? The wolverine resembles a tiny, squat, broad bear measuring 65 to 104 centimeters, 26 to 41 inches in length, excluding the bushy 13 to 26 centimeter, 5 to 10 inch tail, and 36 to 45 centimeter, 14 to 18 inches in shoulder height. The majority of wolverines weigh between 8 and 18 kilograms, approximately 18 and 40 pounds, with males weighing more than females. The largest males can weigh up to 30 kilograms, 66 pounds. The wolverine's legs are short and somewhat bending with hairy soles, long and sharp semi-retractile claws, short ears and robust teeth. The coarse long-haired coat is blackish-brown, with a light brown stripe running from each side of the neck to the base of the tail. Anal glands in the animal secrete an unpleasant-smelling fluid. American badgers have stocky, low-slung bodies with short, strong legs. They are distinguished by their massive foreclaws, up to 5 centimeters long, and striking head markings. These animals have morphological features that make them good fossorial specialists, such as a conical head, bristles on the ears, and nisitating membranes in the eyes. The forelimbs of American badgers are powerful. They also have a robust humerus and large bone structures for muscle attachment. Except for the head, the American badger has a grizzled coat of coarse hair or fur that is brown, black, and white, giving it a mixed brown-tan appearance. In grassy habitats, the coat aids in camouflage. The American badger is between 50 and 81 centimeters, 20 to 32 inches in length, and weighs between 4.5 to 11 kilograms, 10 to 24 pounds. Where do they live? Wolverines can be found in the Arctic and subarctic regions of the Northern Hemisphere. Alaska, Northern Canada, Fennoscandia, Siberia, and other parts of Russia, Mongolia, and China are the most common. They have recently been discovered as far south as the Northern United States. These creatures rule the cold. They can be found in the Northern Hemisphere's Arctic tundras, alpine regions, and boreal forests. These animals are often found in steep and mountainous areas, and they are excellent climbers. Some individuals have been spotted in subarctic zones further south. Badgers are mostly found in North America's Great Plains region. Badgers can be found north through the middle western Canadian provinces, in suitable habitat throughout the western United States, and south into Mexico's mountainous highlands. Since the turn of the century, they have expanded their range and can now be found as far east as Ontario, Canada. Badgers prefer broad, dry grasses, fields, and pastures. They can be found anywhere from high alpine meadows to the sea. 
What do they eat? Wolverines are omnivores, meaning they eat both meat and plants. Wolverines' typical diet includes huge game such as caribou, moose, and mountain goats, as well as lesser creatures such as ground squirrels and rodents, and even bird eggs and berries. They like meat, however, and will go to considerable lengths to obtain it. They may travel 15 miles, 24 kilometers in 24 hours, in search of food, and will consume dead animals that they did not kill. Wolverines have an acute sense of smell and may detect prey 20 feet beneath the snow. They will dig deep into burrows and kill animals that are hibernating. The majority of the badger's diet consists of small burrowing mammals such as ground squirrels, rats, gophers, and mice. It uses its powerful, keen claws to dig its prey out of the ground. The badger will occasionally dig into an animal's burrow and wait for it to return. Coyotes will frequently stand by as a badger burrows and catch animals that emerge from a tunnel in an attempt to escape the badger. Snakes, birds, and reptiles are also eaten by badgers. It will occasionally bury excess food to eat later. How do they behave in the wild? Except during the breeding season, the wolverine is a solitary mammal that travels alone. They nearly never get along with individuals of the same gender. They are nocturnal and do not hibernate. It is mostly a terrestrial species, however it is excellent at climbing trees and is a strong swimmer. This also assists them to avoid predators. They have remarkable stamina and can go long distances over tough terrain and deep snow without stopping, up to six to nine miles. Except for the rare grunt and growl expressing its frustration, the wolverine produces few vocalizations. Male wolverines utilize scent glands to identify their territory, but they share them with multiple females, suggesting that they are polygamous. It has been proposed that the wolverine is a highly intelligent animal. They have been observed following human highways with little traffic to shorten their trip time, as well as sneaking baits out of traps set by scientists for the goal of collaring the animal. Badgers are lonely creatures. They are nocturnal, which means they are most active at night. Meanwhile, in isolated places far from human populations, they are frequently seen traveling in search of food during the day. Although not hibernators, badgers, with the approaching of winter, become passive and undergo short, about 29 hours long, periods of torpor. American badgers are excellent diggers, with their powerful front limbs easily penetrating the soil. Burrows are holes dug in the ground where they live. These underground caverns provide shelter and protection. A typical burrow is three meters under the ground, with a large bedroom and a sleeping chamber, and a total length of all tunnels of roughly 10 meters. Each badger has many tunnels all around its territory. When badgers are threatened, they attack and bite the thing quickly, accompanied by fizzing and snarling. Now let's find out who would win a fight between a wolverine and an American badger. In a battle between a wolverine and the American badger, several factors come into play when considering their size, aggressiveness, power, and offensive and defensive capabilities. In terms of size, wolverines have an advantage due to their larger build. Wolverines are known for their fierce and aggressive nature. They have been observed challenging animals much larger than themselves and are known for their territorial behavior. American badgers are also highly aggressive when defending their territory and young. They are not easily intimidated by larger animals. Wolverines have strong jaws and sharp claws, capable of crushing bones and tearing through tough hides. Their powerful bite can even crack open frozen carcasses. American badgers have strong jaws and sharp claws adapted for digging, but they are also used defensively against predators. 
Wolverines may have a slight edge in terms of pure physical power. Wolverine's offensive weapons include his claws, which can slice through virtually anything. His agility and combat skills make him a formidable fighter. Wolverine's claws are undoubtedly superior as offensive weapons. In a direct confrontation, it's likely that Wolverine's larger size, offensive weaponry, and regenerative abilities would give him a considerable advantage. However, American Badgers are known for their ferocity and resilience, making them formidable opponents in their own right. Most likely, the Wolverine will win this fight.